Hey guys, this is Frank here with Die Hard RC Addicts. Today I'm going to be showing you how I go about detonguing, sharpening, and balancing my beryllium copper props. Here's a quick look at some of the things that I use while I'm doing this. Let's go ahead and take a look at these individually. I rigged up a file handle so that I can use it to hold onto the prop while I'm cutting and sharpening it. You can get one of these at any of the local hardware stores. I picked this one up at Lowe's. For most of the cutting and sharpening, I use a various assortment of files, but you can also use a Dremel style tool with different attachments. After cutting and sharpening the prop, I use some sanding files and some fine grit emery cloth to clean up the prop. While cutting, sanding, and polishing, you'll definitely want to make sure you wear protective gear, as the dust that comes from the beryllium copper props can be hazardous to your health. To help keep the beryllium dust under control, I strongly suggest using a plastic dish with some water so you can wet sand with the emery cloth. You can use some thick paper or a poster board to make a template after you've sized up the first blade. Then I like to use model molding clay to make sure that all the prop blades are evenly sized. And during the final stages, we'll use a magnetic prop balancer to make sure that the prop is properly balanced. The first thing we want to do is remove the tongue from one of the blades with either a file or a Dremel tool. And then after we do that, we can make the paper template to mark off the other blades that we're going to be cutting. And it's important to make sure that this cut goes all the way down to where it attaches to the center section of the prop here. And you want to make a nice smooth transition. It should be a nice radius when you're cutting it. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the file or the Dremel tool and do the rough cut first and cut this section off. When it's done, it should look like this, nice and rounded and smooth. After you have the first blade cut, then you can make the paper template to lay on the other blades to mark them so you can cut them too. Once you have the blades cut, you're going to want to stick it on the balancer really quick just to see which one is the lightest. It'll be the one on the top. You're going to mark the lightest blade because this is the one you want to work with first. Once you have the blade marked, you can start sharpening it. And what I usually do is I only sharpen the back side because I don't want to change the pitch on the front. So I'll start with the hobby file. And in a rounded motion, you want to file towards the leading edge and take down the material to get it thin right towards the leading edge of it. And you're going to file this until you get it nice and sharp like a knife's edge. And then afterwards, we'll polish it with some of the emery cloth. This is how the first blade should look after the initial sharpening and polishing with the emery cloth. I use the emery cloth with some water to give it a nice satin finish and also to get this edge of the blade razor sharp. We're ready now to sharpen the second blade, but before we do we want to go ahead and make an impression of this blade in the molding clay so we can use it to make sure that the second blade comes out the same size. After you have a nice deep impression of the sharpened blade, you can remove the prop from the impression, rotate it, and check the other blades to make sure that they match. As long as they're exactly the same, everything is good and you can go ahead and sharpen the other blades. If there is any variation, now would be the time to correct it with the file. This blade looks fine, so we're going to go ahead and sharpen it. Once you've finished sharpening both blades, you're going to want to put it on the balancer to check to make sure that you're properly balanced. And once you've got the blade balanced, then you can go ahead and finish it up and polish it and get it all ready to run. Okay guys, I've gone ahead and put my newly detongued, sharpened, and balanced prop on my uh, Blackjack 26 and we're getting ready to put it in the water.
Okay guys, as you saw, we got 39 miles an hour out of the boat with the new prop on it. And I just want to show everybody that I'm still running the stock power system. I've got the stock ESC in here and the stock motor. And we're running two Turnagy 5200 milliamp 30C two cell lithium batteries. And I think that's a pretty decent speed, 39 miles an hour for a stock power system. And the boat ran fairly wet because it is kind of windy out. I didn't want to raise the strut too much and risk the chance of blowing it over. But I'm pretty happy with the way it's running with the new prop.